Hi, this is Beverly Garland, location independent artist and creator of the Artist Power Hour, a coaching group to help you get from procrastinator to professional. Um, one of the nice things about being location independent is that right now it's uh, just about to be July and I am uh, wearing long pants and long sleeves uh, in beautiful rural Michigan right now. Um, I love being able to follow the weather and go where it feels nice. Um, I'm going to be bouncing back uh, and forth a lot between uh, Michigan and Chicago, um, kind of urban and rural, uh, bouncing back and forth. It's going to be fun uh, all summer long. Anyway, uh, today's video is going to be part of a series of tips on getting unstuck. So we all know that's a problem when you're doing art or any creative endeavor. Sometimes you hit a wall, sometimes you just procrastinate, sometimes uh, you just don't feel like getting up and doing what you need to do, but um, I've got some solutions. One of my secret weapons is this, a timer. Um, I'll show you this up close. This is, a, this is a digital timer I happened to have purchased a while back. This one's from uh, flylady.net. That's actually an awesome resource for anybody who's trying to uh, declutter or uh, get a little more time management into their lives. Uh, they sell these on that website very affordable and this is very high quality. I think I've had this for over 10 years and it's still working. Um, anyway, the timer, how that figures into what we're talking about today is um, when you are having trouble getting, getting started, sometimes the problem is just that your attention is stuck uh, on something else besides what you want to do and it, it's really hard sometimes to transition, to make yourself change from what you're doing to something else. Even if you think you want to do that something else, uh, there might be something in the way like uh, some amount of dread or discouragement or just, you know, being a little overwhelmed by the challenge of doing something creative. You know, you're creating something out of nothing and that takes a lot of guts, really, when you come down to it. So, what the, how does the timer help you sit down and make some art? Well, what you can do uh, there's this technique called the Pomodoro, Pomodoro Technique, and uh, you can look it up online, but I use an adaptation of it, and what I do is I sit down, I set my timer for like 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and let it go, and I make myself sit in my, sit in my chair and look at what I'm prepared to do uh, and get started on my art, and I've given myself permission that when the timer goes off, I can get up take a five minute break. I can go do something else. So it's just a little bit of investment of time and energy just for 20 or 25 minutes. Anybody can do that. And so what I find happens is once I get into uh, actually having transitioned to the project, um, when the timer goes off, I'm kind of like, wait a minute, I was uh, all into it. So it's actually a little bit hard to change gears again to not be doing what I'm doing. So, but what this does is it really breaks up the time for you. It helps you uh, keep your attention fresh, uh, keeps your interest going because you're taking these frequent breaks. So like uh, every third or fourth uh, 20 minute interval, go ahead and take like a 15 minute break. Take a bigger break just once every few intervals and just keep taking those five minute breaks every 20 to 25 minutes and it'll really break up your day. The time will pass. You'll actually get a lot done because you're not exhausting your attention span by sitting and trying to like bang your stuff out or force yourself to work on something for an hour, hour straight. Nobody can really handle that much concentration at once. If you're a creative person especially, you, you need to have um, something to keep your attention fresh, like bouncing it on off of different things. So anyway, that's my, that's my cue for today. This the uh, timer, 20 to 25 minutes, uh, five minute breaks in between, uh, every third or fourth interval uh, of those 20 minutes and five minute breaks, go ahead and take a 15 minute break. Get up, stretch, walk around, go outside if you're not outside already, and um, see what a timer can do for you. Um, if you have um, the opportunity to try this out and want to share your findings with me, I'd love to hear in the comments how it worked for you. Also, if you have other tips on using a timer or uh, other tips for uh, getting over that hump of getting started on your artwork, share those as well. We'd love to hear from you. All right, thank you guys, and we'll see you soon. This is Beverly Garland with the Artist Power Hour, 
a support coaching group to get you from procrastinator to professional.